this is my botanical design studio in Tubac, Arizona. So I started Mirage and Bird in 2011 and I had just moved to Tubac. I really was making some arrangements for my mom for her house and I saw an art show. I thought, well, maybe I'll enter a few pieces in that and just make some things that are a little bit more sculptural because the permanent materials were new to me and I thought it can sit in an art show for several months as opposed to a fresh one. So I did that and it was really successful. They all sold and I thought, this is pretty good. Maybe I'll do some more. Another artist reached out to me and said, hey, there's a studio available. So it all happened really quickly. It was not a, a forethought decision. I just thought, I can rent that studio. I can make some more flowers. And then very quickly it turned into a business and now a successful business. So I was working downtown Portland in early 90s and there were little flower carts all around the downtown on the corners. So you could stop and buy fresh cut stems or bouquets, roses, you know, assortment. So I just developed a habit of stopping, I don't know, all the time, every week. And I would pick things out and just throw them in a jar at home, something. It was not about the design at all. It was just about the flowers. And one day I was shopping, buying some, and the guy there says, hey, you should work here. And I said, why? He said, you, I really like what you choose every week. So I thought about it and I thought, well, I guess I should work there. I just went and quit my job and started selling flowers on the corner. Mostly I'm self-taught because that job was really just wrapping bouquets. They just wanted us to sell the flowers. But I took every single scrap I could home and I just loved them. The flowers kind of taught me what to do with them. If it has some sort of abnormality in a quirk, that's the best. They'll say, I want to sit next to this one, or I need something over there near me, but not too close. It just sort of comes to me. The natural world is perfect, and it has so many systems and logics that it's not for me to argue with them. So I, I don't care for a design style that's going to be really convoluted or showing a lot of control. Now, you may need to exert some control to get that look, but I, w I want to always have that dance of encouraging the plants to come my way and then letting them be how they are because they're perfect. So again, I'm not going with just the surface of a flower. Stem, foliage, uh, root system, even though it's pulled from the ground or perhaps not real, it, it's all about how did it grow. I really believe that in every piece I'm putting comfort and that, that might surprise you because obviously they're beautiful and, and they might be uplifting and, and to make someone feel happy or inspired, I would love that. But I really believe the foundation of my work is comfort because they're comforting to me. And I think that plant life and flowers, that natural material, we've cleaned so much of that from our lives. You know, we don't want dirt in our house, but we still need a little bit of that natural grit. And I think what could be a more attractive way than a flower arrangement? It doesn't look very gritty, but it's still, still a link to that world. And again, ideally living, but not always. The permanent plants are gonna emanate the same colors. They're gonna have the same effect on our psyche. Sometimes I'm making them, I don't know where they're going. So, I want to send that energy. I want to send that reassurance, that solidity of, of the earth. I'm dressing it up and calling it comfort. People call me sometimes and say, I'm just sitting here looking at your arrangement. Can you imagine? And I, I just, there's just nothing like it to run into someone eight years later and have them stop and say, you know, I still love that piece. So nothing less would do for me. They have to love it. I can't believe that when they call. It's so, it's so cute. Where I'm planning to go with this is to focus more on recycling. Having the plants be permanent, I take very literally. Every scrap, every bit, everything that's damaged could be repurposed. So I'm starting to practice painting the flowers and just to see what my imagination can do with them. Um, I don't see that they need to ever be wasted. So there are times that someone is tired of theirs or they've become dirty or, or out of date. They can be repurposed. They can find a new life, pun intended. And I do feel a responsibility to focus on that angle of my business because of the amount of synthetic material. So again, it, there's really no reason to ever throw it away. Just need to find a new use for it. 
connection. I want people to connect with nature. Again, even if they're not naturally alive, it is that reminder. I, I feel that there shouldn't be any part of our lives that are disconnected from the natural world. A plant is the easiest way to remind us of where we came from. And the flower arrangement is the prettiest way. So yeah, it would connect would be the word. I want them to connect. <laughs>